Hi guys, welcome back. I've got a super targeted workout for you today. So nice and short one, perfect if you don't have a lot of time on your hands, but still wanna get a good burn. So this is a quick abs and arms workout. You will need a set of light hand weights as well as your mat. So if you're ready, roll it out and let's get started. All right, it's gonna be a nice targeted one for you today, but really quickly before we get started, if you guys could do me a big favor and just pop down below and hit the subscribe button, I would really, really, really like to get to 3,000 subscribers uh, as soon as possible. And then who knows, maybe I'll be really consistent with like putting out two videos a week, that's what it is right now. So that way you'll never miss any of the uploads um, and you can just work out with me all throughout the year, hooray. Also just wanted to mention quickly that on my Instagram, which is F2, number two, F2D Fitness, um, I've been doing some more reels lately. So on there I have some song challenges if you're looking for something just like a little bit shorter and kind of fun because it's pop music, um, which I can't use here on YouTube without the issue of copyright. So head on over there, follow on Instagram, subscribe down below. That's it, I'm done, we're gonna get cracking. So you're gonna stay seated on the butt here. What a surprise, Leo is here. Shocker, legs are gonna be out long. Okay, <laughs> like that. Um, weights in the hands here. So you're going to do a little tiny bit of a tilt back here. Pull navel in tight, keep tailbone tucked. So we don't want either that like really rounded push for lower back, nor do we want to be rounding like this because you won't feel the abs <laughs> at all. So just nice and straight there, a little tilt back, palms up. We're going to be drawing right knee into the chest, curl as you do. So that's our first one and we're doing 10 total. So curl, release, curl, release. Elbows stay tight to the sides use the lower abs to pull up from the navel body. Couple more here. He can't decide because his sister is just over there. He's like, should I go after my sister or should I stay here? Looks like he's decided. All right, so that was our last one there. Arms are gonna come forward now, still staying out that little bit of a tilt, pulling navel up and in. You're gonna do a little fly here. So we're just gonna go for 10. Squeezing shoulder blades all the way there. Really think of lengthening through the torso. And here's four, and you could potentially do a little bit wider with the arms. I've obviously got this wall to my side, which limits it a bit. Last one there. And then we're gonna keep arms open. We're gonna go together, do a little crunch forward. So sit up straight, arms will go overhead down, open. Again, magic number is 10. So we go together, lift overhead as chest pushes forward. Ah, good. He's decided to not go after his sister. Instead, he's going after Trisha, their little uh, catnip toy. That's been a big hit the last few days. Cats are so weird. Can I just say, because like, if you guys have cats, you know that you'll like get them toys and they'll either like briefly take interest and then like ignore them for months at a time or they'll just ignore them all together and like play with a box instead or like a piece of paper or like a pen. Last one here. And then you're gonna come all the way down. But yeah, these guys like, they loved Trisha when we first got her and they just like haven't even looked at her for two months and now in the last like couple of days, she's like the biggest hit. Weights are gonna be at the shoulders here. We're gonna have palms facing in toward the head. We're gonna do a roll up here with the shoulder press at the top. So go ahead, come with me. We do one, whoop, roll up, step nice and tall. Press, down, slow, roll back. I don't know if you can hear him kicking it. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me know if you guys have cats, if they're like this. I don't think dogs are like that as much. I feel like dogs, like, any time is a good time to enjoy their toys. But yeah, cats, like, I don't know, ours at least really go through phases where, like, 
they absolutely love a thing and then it's dead to them. And then they absolutely love it again. So you gotta kind of just wait for it to like wrap back around again. We're hoping that's the case with Layla's big girl bed, which we got her like last year, I think just before Christmas, because basically she was had already outgrown like all of the like sleeping accommodations. Couple more here. Um, and she loved it when we first got it. And like, I haven't seen her go in it in probably about eight months now. Last one there, good. Stay up at the top, we're gonna repeat. This time we'll be drawing in the left knee. So roll shoulders back, take a little tilt, palms up, left knee with that curl, release. As you do these, try to keep the foot as level with the knee when you draw it in um, as you possibly can, because that will make a difference. Here's four. Last one. Good, and then that fly. So open together. So really, we've just got that isometric hold here with the abs. We're really just staying tight there, staying still. Remember to breathe, keep shoulders down. Here's four. Let's hold this last one right here. So we're gonna go together. Take a little crunch up as arms go overhead, down, open. Leah's in a bit of a weird, a weird mood right now. Probably because he's high on catnip. <laughs> Just got all, all hyped up kicking Trisha around. Here's four. And last one right there. Bring weights to the shoulders. Roll all the way back, 10 roll-ups with that shoulder press. So all the way up, try not to lift the legs as you do that. Press back, stays nice and tall. And then slow release back down. So really emphasize that release. That is important. The release is probably the more important part of it, to be honest. So if you do have to use a bit of momentum to get up, at least with that release, that's where you're going to train yourself to not use that momentum. That's where the, the learning happens. We've got four more here. Yeah, the cats have actually been really weird this weekend. They've all been in like weird spots. It was like all of a sudden they had a meeting and decided like, we're all gonna change our usual like daytime sleeping spots, which had been the same for months. So a bit weird. Last one here and roll all the way back down. We're gonna stay down now. So bend the knees here. We're gonna take knees up into tabletop. Just tuck my hair under. Um, back stays flat here. So tuck in the navel, keep the lower back down. Weights together just over the chest, but shoulders are down. We're gonna do a double leg extension as the legs extend out. Arms are gonna go overhead with the weights. So just bear in mind here, you don't need to go all the way down to the floor here. Probably you shouldn't go all the way down to the floor. You might be able to, so I don't wanna say like absolutely don't do it but probably not a great idea because what happens is the lower you go with the weights, the more the lower back is gonna lift like that. So only go as far as you can um, where, while it still feels okay for the shoulders because there's a big stretch there and where the lower back stays down on the floor. We're gonna do 10 of these. So inhale and exhale, we stretch legs, we reach arms, slowly back in. So exhale, reach, hollow out the navel, pause in the extension, slowly return in. So nice bit of control with the lower abs. And 
And I think these more targeted routines are nice to just add on. So if you want to do like another one of my videos, maybe like one of the standing bar ones, or I don't know, something more lower body intensive, you could combine that and have a total body workout, or you could just go bananas with arms and abs and do another arms and abs. Last one here, and then I want you to separate the hands here, extend both legs out long. We're gonna draw the right knee in as you do your bending from the elbows, weight's coming just to the sides of the ears. We extend as the leg extends, just the right leg. So it's a skull crusher, we tuck in, extend, keep lower back down, tuck in, extend. Left leg stays exactly where it is. Getting the triceps. And it is really a lot of control. Here's four. Last one. And bring both knees again. Weights again together. So we're going to do another set of both of those. Obviously switching to the left side for the knee retraction. So here we go, double leg first. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bring it in. I feel like it pretty much goes without saying at this point because <laughs> I've been filming a lot of videos this summer, but I'm already super sweaty because basically, again, I woke up sweaty because it's just that hot in here. I would say I've somewhat acclimated to it though which actually kind of like, oh, it makes me sick to hear myself say those words because the heat <laughs> is truly dreadful, but it's like when it's this prolonged, all you can do is really like acclimate to it at some point. So when people ask me like, how are you sleeping? I'm like, I don't know, I basically just pass out. <laughs> Last one here. And then separate the hands, so just over the shoulders, extend both legs out, left knee as we bend the elbows. Extend. And you can always squeeze the navel down tighter. Here's four. Last one. Good, I want you to keep the legs at the diagonal, bring hands back together, arms slightly overhead. We're just gonna hold the arms as you helicopter the legs here. So we are thinking inner thighs here. The farther you go overhead with the weights, again, the harder it's gonna be. But the idea here is that the weights overhead, that's gonna really give you something to do with the lower abs because you're really gonna have to work hard to stay pressed down here. Keep going. If you want more of a challenge, you could go a little bit lower with the legs. Again, as long as the lower back doesn't lift up. And give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it in. Woo, there we go. All right, we're going to flip around here. So come all the way up, flip around on the hands and knees. Get rid of one of those weights. We're just going to keep one. And we're going to be in a quadruped position here. And actually, that's a lie because we're going to be in an advanced quadruped. So you're going to have the weight in your left hand, opposite leg. So right leg, I want you to just extend long behind you. This is going to give the abs a little bit more to do because as we pick up this hand, whoa, now we have to do all this work to stabilize, just like magic. So right leg extends long, keep back flat. Make sure you're not opening up like that nor should you be dropping out like that. So back is flat, hips are level. With that left arm, we're just gonna do a narrow row here. So it comes up along the rib cage, elbow lifts above the line of torso, slow release down, 30 of these bad boys. So exhale as you lift, keep that right leg long, keep pulling up from the navel. A Little bit of softness in the supporting elbow. And this really works the whole core. You 
Should be about halfway. A little bit of work for the left glute as well right now. Here's four. Last one, I want you to keep it up and that's gonna turn into a tricep kickback. So extend, bend. Keep the left shoulder up, pushing back. We don't want to sink down here. If you're down here, not the same thing. So keep it nice and long. Elbow level with the torso or even just above. Pausing in the extension, gazes out ahead of you a little bit. Should be about halfway. Keep going. Hopefully this is most people's non-dominant side. Here's four, three, two, one. Good, release for just a second here. And then you have the option of just getting rid of the weight um, or if you want to hold on to it, we're only doing 10 of this final thing on this side. It's going to be a knee to elbow tuck. So with the right leg long, left arm is going to reach forward. You're going to tuck in, really curl. Elbow will go past the knee. So round the back, lift up and extend. So 10 of these join with me now. Lots of stabilization with this one. And that tuck is really, really important. So like I said, you do really want to tuck in round around that knee. Here's four. And last one. Woo, hooray. Woo, there we go. All right. I'm just gonna go ahead and flip around here because I'm switching hands just so you can see the side. Yes, that is sweat, just rolling down my face and hitting the mat right now. Cool. <laughs> if you need to, you can give the wrist a quick shake out here as well. Oh, <laughs> I need to have like a fan on me. All right, right hand has the weight now, which means left leg is going to extend long, keep it long, press flat across the hips. So 30 narrow rows, here we go. Softening the left elbow. Squeezing the right glute as well. Nice and narrow with the elbow. Should be about halfway. Just keeping it controlled. How am I this sweaty with this one? <laughs> to be honest, like I said, it doesn't take much when it's like this hot. Like I pretty much get up in the morning and start sweating. So any movement at all is a lot of movement. <laughs> Here's two, keep it up on this last one, and then we extend and curl. So really controlling again, both parts of this one. We don't want it to just be swinging wildly. 
because if it's swinging wildly, you're not gonna feel it. Especially on the extension, we wanna pause for just a second there so you can feel the tricep actually pop a little bit. You'll know what I mean. Check in with that left leg. Is it nice and long still? Is it level with the torso? It shouldn't just be dangling down here. Not the same thing. So we're about halfway. Extending long through the crown ahead. And here's four, three, two, one. Yay. All right. So take it down for just a second here. We'll do those 10 knee to elbows. So if you did it with the weight on the first side, Guess what? You're gonna be doing it with the weight again. If you drop the weight, then do it without the weight. So left leg long, right arm long, curl in, big tuck, pause in the tuck, extend. Only 10 of these. Here's four. And last one. And done with the weights. Not done though, done with the weights. <laughs> so final thing here though, this is our absolute final thing. We're just gonna go for 10 dolphin push-ups, and then we'll just hold the plank for probably not even too terribly long, but that'll just finish it out. So come down to the elbows here, elbows underneath shoulders, toes tuck under, flat back here, feet and elbows stay where they are. We're gonna exhale, butt presses back, pause at the top, inhale forward. Keep abs tight, make sure you're not dropping the hips there. So stay level with the shoulders. We don't want to go past that point. I always think these ones do feel good because it is a nice whoo, opener for the fronts of the shoulders. You might've just heard a big pop in mine just then. That felt great. I love to just wake up and pop and crack everything. Last one here, hold in the plank. Yeah, let me know, are you guys poppy and cracky? Do you enjoy it when you're <laughs> popping and cracking? My favorite pop to get, which I don't get that often, is the sternum. Oh, it sounds gross, but until you've experienced it, like wakes me up in the morning when I like, lean back, my sternum pops. I'm like, oh, now I'm ready to start the day. It's great. Hold five, four, three, two, one. Knees down, push back to child's pose. Whoo, melt down there. Take a little rock side to side. You can shake out the wrists a little bit. Whoa. Hello again. Oh God, my face is all sweaty. <laughs> Hello again, just in time. All right, go ahead, sit up here. We'll give it a little stretch. So take one hand between the shoulder blades, press it down. My face is so sweaty. Oh, is it gonna be a rare appearance by Luna? No, probably not. Go ahead and release, other side. Now, I think she'll, she'll be, oh, maybe you'll see a little bit of the top of her. It's, it's just the Leo show all the time, basically. Oh. <laughs> that went well. Hands here behind the back, press back. Leo tried to just give her a little headbutt and Luna was not 
a fan. They're not really the best of friends. Luna, he was just trying to give you love. Release the <laughs> shit. Shake it out. This is how it goes sometimes. And then let's just take a cat cow here in honor of these guys. So inhale, hollow, lifting the chest. So just dropping out the rib cage. Exhale, round, tuck in. Buddy, I love you, but I don't love when you put your fur on my sweaty face. Inhale, hollow. <laughs> Exhale, round. One more time, inhale, hollow. Exhale, round. Sit back on the heels. But you know, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be one of my workout videos without this guy being front and center. So here we go. All right, guys, I hope that you are feeling nice and strong through the core, through the arms. If you enjoyed this one, of course, give it a like down below. Like I said before, while you're there, hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything and it does me a big favor. And then of course, uh, let me know down below in the comments if there's anything you'd like to see more of. You can send your greetings to uh, this guy down there as well. <laughs> and I'll see you guys back in the next one. Bye.